I'm Carl, and you're watching the Coffee Bar with Tim. Well, well, well. Look who came back to watch me in a video. <laughs> All right, so today we have kind of an interesting topic. I figured, you know, not a whole lot of people do this stuff, so I figured I'm gonna be the first to do it. This video is all about striking with plastic balls. You may be wondering to yourself, is this relevant? Am I gonna use this in a tournament? The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> so you're not going to actually throw your plastic balls at tournaments for strikes, but you may end up realizing that you, the plastic ball may teach you something. The plastic ball is like a Mr. Miyagi master. <laughs> well, at least for throwing the ball. Like the, the point of the story is a plastic ball is going to give you less room to get a strike than either a urethane ball or a reactive ball. Because simply put, and for you know, better to understand the, the equipment, hence plastic, uh, the cover stock on a plastic ball is just polyester or Sometimes it's polyurethane, which is like a kind of different kind of mixture. It's like kind of plastic and urethane together, but I don't know. This is more about just 100% plastic. So they're, but not all plastic balls are the same. Some plastic balls have cores in them. Some plastic covers are actually softer than others. They're all legal. It's not like one's so soft it's illegal, but I mean like, you know, maybe like a couple of points on the hardness scale, you know, within the legal parameter. but on a plastic ball, that does make a lot of difference. So pattern uses. Are you actually gonna throw a, a plastic ball on a on like a, uh, a sport shot? Maybe, maybe, but it's gotta be the right plastic ball. So if you're on a super low volume sport shot, a plastic ball may actually help you out. So maybe stay tuned, might learn something cool. Okay, so. I decided that we are going to show you a demonstration instead of just sitting in front of the camera and talking. So this is how it's going to I'm going to throw a shot and then I'll kind of walk you through like I guess the adjustments of like what it's like to throw a plastic ball. One thing that you want to keep into you know, like keep in your mind is that like these balls don't hook much. So you are generating the hook through like ball speed or a slow ball speed, ball roll. Those are the things that are really important but I'll kind of show you. I throw a shot and you'll see you know like what i'm gonna purposely stand a little too far left here and that way you guys can see kind of like how a plastic ball skids super far oh <laughs> well apparently that wasn't too far left this is okay so let me explain <laughs> this is the clear wolf and the clear wolf is on the hooking side for a plastic ball so let's say you saw that uh, you saw that shot right there, and it didn't carry. With plastic, it actually very simplifies the game. So check this out. I'm gonna make a two right, reline up, and then theoretically it should go through the pins a lot better this time. So you can see. Like just immediately, it's like it responds. So plastic, it's like all you gotta do is move a little left or a little right. So not all plastic balls are as good as a clear wolf. I can, I can tell you that now. So this brings me to my secondary plastic ball, the dragon. So the dragon is a little different in that there's really no hook design intent behind it. Like. So she's gonna go a whole lot straighter. So, all right, here we go. So this one's definitely not gonna hook nearly as much as a wolf. I'm gonna throw it down the exact same spot and you'll see it'll probably skid a lot further. So as you can see, not nearly as much traction as something like the clear wolf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a decent move to the right and kind of simulate 
what you got to do. So that was with the clear wolf. That was a clear wolf line that struck. So we're going to move about five right because I already know that this ball is super weak in comparison. I mean, we're talking about plastic here. They're all weak. So now we'll go much straighter. So what did we just see there? So this lane is pretty dry. And the one thing to take into consideration is plastic hooks really early and then rolls out. It is not skid down lane. There's no, there's no real skid hook roll. It's just kind of hook roll. So when you see stuff like that, and it's like if you're locked in the plastic and you actually want to strike, what you do is you find the edge of the oil. So a five right was obviously too much. And since we know plastic is all about it's all about reading early and rolling out. We're gonna loft it to give it a little bit extra length. Watch how this, I'm assuming this one's probably gonna go dead flush. So we'll see. Gave it a little bit of loft, just hooking. Yep, okay, so you can see how plastic is much, much straighter than reactive. So this will be my last shot with it. I'm gonna show you another adjustment you can do. So let's say you're somebody, and this, is, and this is what I meant earlier about how a plastic ball could potentially train you on the different spots on the lane. So if I actually wanna hook it, I gotta slow way down. Now if I actually wanna go straighter, I can pick up my ball speed and I will still be able to go a little straighter. With reactive balls, it's almost, you only have so much you can do because of the insane amount of friction it creates. But with plastic, you can hum it through it. So go ahead and make fun of me. I fell off balance. <laughs> but you can see how you can just blast it right through the spot. And that's only possible through loft, speed, and like angle to the front part of the lane. So that's how to strike with plastic. But now you're prepared to go throw 300 with your plastic ball. <laughs> well, maybe not, maybe you will. I've done it before, not bragging, but I did. <laughs> so anyways, that's how to strike with a plastic ball in a nutshell. I hope it was like helpful in some way. Maybe like throw your plastic ball some more and you know, just out of having to be more accurate, you know, you may end up getting a little more fine tuned with your physical game. Or who knows, maybe it's just a for fun thing you can do with the boys or the girls. We're not, you know. But uh, yeah, if you guys like the topic, let me know. Hit that subscribe and like button and maybe leave a comment and let me know, was this, uh, was this kind of stupid? <laughs> Did you gain anything from it? or uh, do it again on another topic. I don't know, how to's, man, I'm good at them. All right, see you guys next time.